What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Thomas Gallery and got a little story to tell. Now, I'm not a, I, I was not a bad kid. Okay, I was not a bad kid. I didn't get into any trouble or anything. Not any serious trouble. I ain't, I ain't like do somewhere I end up getting the cops called on me or anything. Nothing like that. But, you know, I had my reckless moments. I had my mischievous moments in my youth. And this was one of where I got caught. And I got, I got caught a lot when I did these things. So, I was in high school. I think I was about like 10th or 11th grade. Can't remember which one. 10th or 11th grade. And... Class, well, actually, it was it was right after lunch, but lunch was just ended, and we had to go go to our, our next class, our fifth period class. I think it was I think it was math. I think I'm not sure, but the school I went to, H. D. Woodson Senior High School in Washington D.C., when it was the actual Tower of Power, it was a, it was a literal tower, okay, the actual tower. The school was a tower. Okay. Anybody from class of 01 know what I mean? Class of 01 and before. Everybody know H.D. was in the Tower of Power. Okay. So, and in this tower, of course, it, it four corners. Right. It was, it was pretty much a rectangular prism. And on all four sides of this particular structure had, you know, stairways to get down into class. So, you want to go to your class, you take a certain stairway to get there quicker. So, I go after my lunch. I'm just joking. I'm just playing around. I'm supposed to be going to my class, but I didn't at that time. So, I take a longer way to get there purposely. So, pretty much, you know, cut class a little bit. Ain't going front, cut class a little bit. So, any other time, this never happened. This never happened. I've never done this before. I've never taken my time to get to class. When I usually get to class, I get there right on time. I'm the first one there and the first one to leave. So, this particular time, this particular time, I decided to take my sweet time getting to class. So, I take the long, like one of the, one of the corners of the tower. You take those particular stairs into my into my uh, specific class. This would have been a longer way to get to the class. I knew this. I took it anyway. So I go to that, I go to to that that particular stairway, and this had never happened before. But this particular day, I go down those stairs. When I hit the first three steps going downstairs, I see my mother come upstairs. This had never happened before. Never has my mother come up to the school randomly. Never, never, never. Never happened. But this one day, this one particular day, that I decide to take my sweet time getting to class. I go down the stairs. She comes around the corner. And when I tell you. For 10 seconds I died. Because. I saw her before she saw me. Because I'm going down the stairs. She's going up. And like go up. And then you turn and go up again. Like like a, like that. I see the back of her head. And from the back of our, back of her head. I knew it was her. The first three steps we going downstairs and her coming up, I saw the back of her head before she turned around. I knew it was her. And automatically I said, <sighs> and all of my slick ways, all of my sly talk, my slick talk, my smiling, beguiling, went out the window when I saw her. And I was like, wait a minute. So she, she said, hey. Hey, Chris, I said, hey, 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 mom, how, how, you, how you doing? Hey, hey. Ran up to her, gave her a hug real quick. I said, hey, mom, how you doing? What you, what you, what you doing? What you, what you doing? What you doing here? What's going on? I said, nothing. Things. To this day, to this day, I don't know why she came to the school. 
I asked her, but she never answered. I, to this day, don't know why she came to the school. But if she did tell me, I forgot. Because I was trying my best to find ways of her not to find out like why I was where I was when I was supposed to be in class right now. But she said, hey, say, uh, say, uh, where you going? She's like, where you going? I said, going, going to class? Like, where's your class? It's like, it's on the, uh, I'm going to it now. I said, okay. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go downstairs to my class, and she's gonna go wherever she had to go. I still don't know why. I still don't know where she was going. No, she said, okay. She walked me to my class. I said, okay. So whatever, whatever I was trying to do, leave it alone. Leave it alone. Cause if I say anything wrong, if I say anything wrong, it's gonna be a problem. It's going to be a problem at school. It's going to be a problem at home. So I was like, you know what? I'm going, I'm going to my class. I'm about to go there now and stuff. I'm taking the long way. She not, she don't know that's the long way, but I'm taking it anyway. So, Oh, my God. I was panicked. I was like, I can't get away with it. I can't get away with stuff. I, that, that's just my karma. My karma comes quick. Whatever wrong I do, Whatever wrong I think about doing, my karma comes just like that. Just like that. I've seen other classmates skip class and I ain't never seen my parents come up. I do it one time. This is the first time I've ever done this. The first time I've ever in my life done this. And the one time I do it, the one time I do it, my mother show up. And I was scared out my mind. I was like, for that brief moment, for that brief second, my whole body felt hollow. It felt like my soul left me and said, nigga, you on your own. Whatever you gonna do, I don't want no part of this. Bye. And left my body. My body was like, uh, okay, nigga, figure it out. But I ain't do it again. I didn't do it again until I got to college and I started I started messing up. But when I was in high school, I didn't do it again because I don't know where I'm going to turn and all of a sudden my mama show up looking at me with a good Christian smile but the Southeast D.C. ways, she may put her hands on you. I... Mm. Just thinking about this thing about it now makes me laugh and scared at the same time. I'm la I'm laughing inside, but I'm, I was like, to this day, I don't do anything. I try my best to not do anything that can get me caught up. Where I get a call from my mother, and my mother say, "Hey, hey, baby, what's going on?" When I hear that, "Hey, what's going on?" Already know. When I hear that, cause that's, that's what I heard when she called me. Hey, Chris, what's going on? When I heard the "Hey." And the what's going on? When I hear those, chances are I, I messed up somewhere. So I don't, I don't even do it on social media. I don't write anything on social media that can get back to my mother and I get that call. That hey, baby, what's going on? Um, I got a call. For, I don't want to hear it. So <laughs> I don't do, I don't do nothing anymore to make me get that that feeling. Cause the first time it happened. My soul ran, my soul just straight jet on me like, I don't want no problems with you. Body, you on your own. Me, soul, I'm gone. Peace. So, that's how that went. So, that's my first time. That's, that was my first, I didn't even cut class. That was my first attempt. My first attempt to cut class failed. My very first attempt to cut class failed epically. I won't do that again. Don't cut class, y'all, because you never know when your parents may show up at random times. It was right, it was at lunchtime. It was right after lunch. Like, just a random moment after lunch. Huh? And to this day, to this very day, I'm 34 years old. I graduated from high school 2001. To this very day, I still don't know why she showed up. 
But tell you one thing, I ain't doing it no more. Y'all keep that. Y'all keep that. That that slick stuff. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I ain't doing it. Mm -mm. That's all I got for that. I got plenty of stories though, but that was one that just caught, that popped up in my head, and I just had to tell it. So hope y'all enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. I catch you all later. Peace.